Hi, this is Johnny at DNA Painter, and I'm going to tell you about inferred chromosome mapping, which is a way of maximizing your DNA matches. So inferred chromosome mapping is a technique for people who just love chromosome mapping. And the brilliant thing is you don't actually need very much in order to do it. You do need to have grandparents who are not related, uh, and that will become clear later on. So you use the DNA matches of a close relative. Now that could be a parent, it could be a sibling or half-sibling even, or it could be the descendant of a sibling. So what do these people have in common? Well, they either are your parents or they are descendants of your parents. And crucially, what it means is that any DNA you share with these people came from the same set of what I like to call reference chromosomes. So the reference chromosomes contain all the possible DNA that I could have shared with these people. So these reference chromosomes contain all of the specific DNA that my parents inherited from their parents, so my four grandparents essentially. Because of the way inheritance works, I inherited DNA from my grandparents in these chunks. It's not like it's a fine mixture. So at the top here I have a yellow chunk of DNA from one grandparent, then there's a crossover, and I switch to inheriting blue DNA from the other grandparent on that side. So what this means is that on each copy of the chromosome, so the maternal and the paternal, in each copy, in any specific position, I either inherited DNA from one grandparent or from the other. And the same applies to all descendants of my parents. So what this means in practice is that, for example, if a match shows that my brother inherited blue DNA, let's call it, at a specific position, then if I don't match that person, then if I don't have blue DNA there, I have to have yellow DNA there because it's either blue or yellow. So to stop talking about colours for a moment and actually talk about people, what I'm saying is that in any specific position on my paternal chromosomes, I inherited DNA either from my grandfather or from my grandmother. So with inferred chromosome mapping, we're using the matches of a close relative who has this same set of reference chromosomes. For all these people, we can say, well, if they didn't inherit yellow, they must have inherited blue. And this means that we can infer additional information from their matches. So if we start by identifying a close relative to use, in this example, I'm going to use my brother. And we're looking at his blend of DNA from his grandparents on a specific chromosome. Next up, we have to choose someone who matches both of us. So in this case, I'm choosing my father's cousin, Paula. So Paula is a descendant of our great-grandparents on my paternal grandmother's side. So because of how we're related to Paula, for me and my brother, any DNA that we share with Paula will have come from those great-grandparents, John and Florence, via our grandmother, Beryl. So in order to determine the difference between the segments that I share with Paula and the segments that my brother shares with Paula, I have to do two one-to-one -one comparisons. Now, for this example, I'm using GEDmatch, but of course you can do this on any site where you have the access and the segment data. And not surprisingly, there are some differences. There are some segments that my brother shares with Paula, but which I do not. Now, to compile that table of data manually is actually a bit of a fiddle. So I've created a dedicated tool for this called the Inferred Segments Generator. It's very simple to use once you understand the concept. First of all, you need to paste in the segments that you share with a match. So in this case, I'd have pasted in the segments that I share with Paula. And then in the second box, you would paste in the segments which your close relative shares with that match. And the Inferred Segments Generator will simply generate those segments for you, which the close match has, but which you don't have with that match. And once you have those segments, you can map them. So these are the inferred segments. So on his paternal chromosomes, my brother definitely inherited these segments from Beryl, my paternal grandmother. So because I don't have this DNA, I, I've inferred that I must have got these segments from my paternal grandfather. I must have got them from my grandfather Ernst. 
So what this means is that I've been able to vastly improve the coverage of my chromosome map with just one match, my father's cousin Paula. We can see here the blue segments, those are the segments that I share with Paula, which I've assigned to my paternal grandmother Beryl, based on how I'm related to her. But then in addition we have all these yellow segments, and these are the segments that my brother shares with Paula, but which I don't. So I can infer that since I didn't get DNA from my paternal grandmother here, I must have got it from my paternal grandfather, Ernst. So I hope that gives you a taste of how powerful a technique inferred chromosome mapping can be, and that you'll come and check it out at dnapainter.com.